Hello traders, hello traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good afternoon, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSCCI Pro Traders, and our website is www.dprotraders.com. This is the first tutorial in a series of videos that we call Learn to Master CCI Indicator. All right, we have uh, we will be recording uh, six video one, two, three, four, five, six videos in this series of video when we will be talking about uh, Lean to Master CCI indicator. The title of the video is Lean to Master CCI indicator step one. All right, what is the role of the CCI indicator? The role of the CCI indicator is uh, to identify financial securities that deviate from a specific uh, moving average. All right, that's the role. The number one role of the CCI indicator is to identify financial instruments that deviate from a specific uh, moving average. All right, so. In this series of video, we want to master the CCI indicator. The first thing we want to understand, what is the role of the CCI indicator, all right? So we are looking at the, the default setting for the CCI for many, okay, trading software. is set at 14. I have here the CCI period 14, okay? What is the role of the CCI period 14? The CCI period 14 is to identify financial instruments that deviate from the moving average 14. If I'm using the CCI period 20, okay, I'm trying to, to identify financial instruments that deviate from the moving average 20. If I'm using a CCI period 24, I am trying to identify financial securities that deviate from the moving average 24. If I'm using CCI period 50, I'm trying to identify financial instruments that deviate from the moving average 50. If I'm using CCI period 30, I'm trying to identify financial instruments that deviate from a specific moving average 30. So here we have the moving average period 14. The role of the move, uh, CCI period 14 is to identify financial instruments that deviate from the moving average 14. I need to tell traders that the center line, the center line, which is the zero line for the CCI period 14, is equivalent to the moving average that we are using. So if you are using the CCI period 14, the moving average 14 is represented by the central line zero, the zero line central line. If you are using CCI period 50, the central line of our CCI period 50 is represented by the central line zero. All right. If you are using the CCI period 24, the central line is substituting, okay, the moving average, okay, 30. All right. It makes sense. You want to know it. You want to understand it in order to master the CCI indicator. So here you can see here. Pay attention carefully to what I'm doing. All right. You can see that the CCI went away from the central line. We know that the central line here is represented by the moving at 14. The CCI is telling us that uh, the price deviates away from the moving average 14. Now, sometimes that's not the case. The price here, the CCI is telling us the truth. There is a deviation. The price moves away from the moving average 14. Yes or no? All right. Here again, you can see that the CCI deviates from uh, the moving the, the central line telling us that the price is far away from the moving of the 14. Let's look at the price. Here it is. The price deviates from the moving average 14. It makes sense. It makes sense. All right. Now, sometimes there's a here. I want to talk about something else, but I want you to see here it did not happen. You can see that the the CCI is uh, retesting. Okay, going back into the central line. Okay, it's so returning from the upside to the central line. So it's telling us that the price is also very close to the moving average 14. All right. 
There are more to this. Here, you can see that the CCI went to the uh, central line, but the price was not at the central line. But this is what we call a leading indicator, which is telling us that very soon, you see here, the price was far away from the moving average 14, but the CCI is near the moving average. Um, it's near the central line. It's telling us, it's giving us a warning that very soon the price will return to the moving at 14 because the price did not go to the, was not at the moving at 14 at the same time when the CCI was near the central line. So here it is. Finally, the price returned to the moving at 14. This is a beautiful signal. It's what we call discrepancies, CCI discrepancies. I will be recording another series of videos when I will be talking about CCI discrepancies. It makes sense? It is also uh, powerful, all right? So this is the first thing that we want to understand. The role of the CCI is you identify financial instrument, okay, that deviate from a specific uh, moving average. Here you can see that the CCI deviates from the, the central line. It's telling that the price is also okay below or deviate below okay the the, the moving average 14 yes or no right here all right it makes sense it is also a powerful sometimes you may see a discrepancy but uh, this is something else that i will be talking about in another big series of video that we call cci discrepancies see you in the next video in the next video we'll be talking about learn to master cci indicator step two I'll be concentrating on overboard and oversold CCI. Thank you for watching, and then we will speak to you very soon. We are the TSCCI Pro Traders, talking about lane to master CCI indicator, step one. See you in the next video.